This is a little project I've always wanted to build. This is a pneumatic can crusher using a 63 millimeter bore, five inch stroke pneumatic cylinder that at 100 PSI will put about 490 pounds of pressure on the ram here. Uh, the object is to take an aluminum can like you see here and basically turn it into something like this. Uh, that's about one sixth, one seventh of the original volume of the can. The reason we're doing this is partly because the recycling law has changed on uh, July 1st, making it much more of a nuisance to take metal up to the local recycling center. You now have to show photo ID. They give you a check for all metal instead of uh, before it was just if you had copper or over $25. And they have to photograph the load. So where before we would take six bags of garbage or six bags of cans up to the recycling center about every month and a half, we're going to try and cut that down and get a little bit more money at one shot and make fewer trips because of the inconvenience. So what I've done here is taken this plywood frame and built that as a prototype until I can do a metal one. I don't have any facilities for welding so uh, we took three quarter inch plywood, built up an outer frame that holds the cylinder, and then an inner frame that's about the size of a can so that the can doesn't roll to either side. The ram here is uh, a nylon block about an inch and a half, inch and a quarter thick that I had sitting around that I cut into a circle. Uh, what we'll do is use this air hose here that's got 125 PSI on it right now and drop a can into the ram, put this into the inlet air port, boom, and it crushes it. In the other port, we retract it to retract the ram, and there's our crushed can. Uh, I have waiting to come in some air valves that will attach to these ports and to the compressor uh, along with some the assorted fittings and piping that go with it and I'll get a programmable logic controller or perhaps build something that will sequence this automatically so that at the press of a button it will do the same action of extending the ram and then retracting the ram afterwards. Uh, this will sit over a garbage can and then drop it in. I'd like to build an automatic hopper using maybe a piece of PVC that will rotate and take a can out of the hopper drop it into there, crush it, and keep it repeating this as long as it detects a can in the uh, compression area here. The final version will be done out of metal. I need to get some quarter inch steel, but as I mentioned, I don't have any facilities for welding, so once I get all the dimensions and everything where I want them, uh, a friend of mine at work has a MIG welder and will weld up a box for it and paint it pretty colors and that kind of thing. Or, who knows, if the plywood holds up, uh, I might just use that. As you can see here, I use threaded rod with uh, washers on the end here to hold it together. Uh, I have a feeling that at 490 pounds that the sheetrock screws that I use just to hold the frame together while I was assembling it would probably come apart. The cylinders I got on eBay. I got a uh, pair of them here. Another one. I paid uh, $20 plus I think about $12 shipping for those. I bought three air valves for $21, and for about $80, I got all the little fittings that screw in here that have quick disconnects, uh, some pressure regulators, some mufflers, which are basically centered bronze that will uh, make the air not so noisy as the, the cylinder retracts or uh, compresses, and some other bits and pieces. So probably all told, I'll have uh, about $150, $175 in the entire project and a chance to play with pneumatics, which as I mentioned is something I've always wanted to do. Anyway, we'll see how that goes.